Now, of course, we love watching the success of Team GB's Olympic cyclists winning a record 11 medals in Rio. And now we're loving the role that the University of Bristol played in the success. Yes, engineers have been testing for two years to make sure the British bikes are the best in the world. Andy Howard reports. <laughs> Do you ever get the impression that you're putting in 100% effort, but your equipment is letting you down? I know the feeling. I suppose that's OK for me on a push bike, but it's a bit different if you're riding at the Olympics. I've come to meet a professor who, along with his students, has helped Team GB to bring home more cycling medals than ever before. I think I'll just leave that there for now. Ah, this is a bit more like it. In this Bristol workshop, they're world experts on bike chains. But how do you test them without the athletes being here? What we've got is the system which can move the chain over the sprockets. And what it's doing, it's simulating the loads that the Olympic riders put into the transmission. Uh, so, for example, a sprinter like Jason Kenney will put in huge loads. To the finishing straight, up towards the line, Jason Kenney's got it! And an endurance rider like Laura Trott. Laura Trott is Britain's most successful female Olympian of all time. And we can test how much friction loss is taking place and how smooth the components are. Those weights moving back and forth are essentially Laura Trott's legs. Professor Burgess gets her going and then measures the exact movements using a laser, which will tell him and Team GB which chains are good enough for the Olympics. Testing is so important because it can be the difference between a gold and a silver or a gold and a bronze, even gold and no medal at all, because the margins are so fine in the Olympics. You're the reason why we got all those golds then? I think the cred most credit has to go to the riders. The best riders, they demand every part of the bike is, is completely optimised for performance. So my push bike that I've just ridden up Park Street, how different would that be? Uh, well, I haven't seen your push bike, but the losses could be ten times higher. So I'm sorry to tell you, but a, a lot of effort you're putting into the pedals is getting wasted, heating up the chain and various losses in the transmission. In which case, I'm sure no one would mind if I did the return journey on this, would they? Coming to get you, Laura Trott. Andy Howard, BBC Points West, in Bristol.